morning Raiders. I'm Rachel. I'm Kate. And I'm Thomas. And here are your daily announcements. Seniors, there will be a mandatory meeting in the auditorium at 1240 tomorrow, September 18th. The Lady Raiders shot a season low of 353 to beat Scotts Bluff by seven strokes yesterday in gearing to win the team championship. The girls dropped 22 strokes from their previous season low. Rachel Blauert won the tournament with a 77. Megan Neal shot an 89 for 7th and Emma Alexander shot an 85 for 5th. The team's score was rounded out by Taylor Parsons with a 102. Contest. The Red Zone is calling for your assistance as we need votes for Nebraska's best sports program. Follow that link or go to Facebook to vote. When you get bored, this is what you should be doing. Vote for us, guys. Locker rooms. The boys' and girls' PE locker rooms will be used after school this week, so please take your items home or lock them up. ACT registration deadline is this Friday, September 18th for the October 24th de test date. Stop by the guidance office for information. Mr. Brockhouse needs clock operators and line judges next Tuesday and Thursday for junior high volleyball games. Please see him if you, if you can help. You will get paid and fed. Art club members interested in going on the trip to Denver, please fill out the form sent to you in Raider Mail or on Google+. See Mrs. Darling if you have any questions. Mr. Brockhouse needs chain games for tomorrow and Saturday morning's football games. See him if you can help out. You will get paid and fed. Thank you. Junior Magazine Sales. Excellent job selling magazines. We've received over 379 orders so far, not counting online or postcards. Way to get out and sell. The online orders will be added as they come in and your total units sold will be periodically updated. If you have questions, please contact Mrs. Dorward. Juniors, if your name is on the list posted in Mrs. Plummer's office, you need to meet in the auditorium on Tuesday, September 22nd at 1240 p.m. to select your prizes. Again, great work. Fine Arts and SCCLA students, your help is still needed for the Oktoberfest booth. This is our only fundraiser, so please stop by Mr. Mead's room and sign up today. Art Club needs volunteers to paint posters after school during open hour on Wednesday for the girls' golf and volleyball in the 3D art room. All juniors are required to work one concession. An online form has been shared with you to sign up. You can sign up in Mr. Newman's classroom or online. Senior athletes, any senior in a fall sport, please see Mr. Brockhouse for a senior sheet. As club members, Please remember your $3 dues by Wednesday, September 23rd. Today, cross country will be heading to McCook to compete. Tonight, volleyball will be at home versus Alliance starting with the freshmen at 5. Also this evening, freshman football will be competing against Garing at home beginning at 5 as well. And tomorrow night, your 8th ranked Raiders will take on the 4th ranked McCook Bison here at Weymouth Field starting at 7. Let's go cheer them on, guys. Saturday, cross country at Alliance and girls golf at Scotts Bluff with both starting at 9. Yoga with Mr. Avila will be Sunday, September 20th at 6.35 p.m. for about a half hour. Yoga will also be Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m. on the football field. You'll need to go home to change, so plan accordingly. Be there or be less flexible. It's going to be legit. And your high school lunch for today, Mac 6, grilled cheese, sub, tomato soup, orange wedges, and milk. SRTV is looking for anyone that wants to help stream the live events after school. We are willing to teach anyone the ins and outs of our live broadcasts. If you are interested, stop by Mr. McKay and Mr. Galloway's office next to the Media Center. If the door is closed, just knock. And now over to Thomas Webb with our Thursday news. Hello Raiders, and this is your entertainment news. Isaac Caldero made history Monday night as the first ever contestant to win NBC's American Ninja Warrior over the show's seven seasons. More than 3,500 athletes have competed since it began in 2009. With his win, Caldero takes home $1 million and the title as the first American Ninja Warrior winner. Hua! America's got some serious talent. Last night's two-hour finale slowly took the top ten acts and whittled them down to five, including mentalist Oz Perlman, comedian Drew Lynch, professional regurgitator, 
also known as Stevie Starr, R&B duo Craig Lewis Band, and ventriloquist Paul Zerton. In the end, it was down to Lynch and Zerton, but only one act could win a million dollars and show up on the Vegas Strip. That was Paul Zerton. And also, Stephen Amell, he's a superhero if you didn't know that, is taking a break from social media after sharing his thoughts on a Texas teenager named Ahmed Mohammed. The Arrow star appeared in a Facebook video Wednesday night where he apologized for his remarks made earlier in the day. And that's all I have for you, so back to you guys. What do you think? Do you think you could do American Ninja Warrior? Probably not. <laughs> it's pretty tough, so the fact that he won it is pretty awesome. That's all we got for you guys today. I'm Rachel. And I'm Kate. We'll see you tomorrow.